cannot filter it out. It is in you. You are listening. Like when the voice inside your head says something, you are listening. It's it's not even a choice because it's it's inside, right? And it's it's kind of trippy. And sorry, I'm going to stay on track with this video here. July 24th, 2012, TEPCO. Cesium getting stirred up. Fukushima plant still emitting 10,000 becquerels per hour. I told you that this was an ongoing crisis. The number has not stopped. That famous 10 million becquerels of only the cesium-134, 137, when there are hundreds of other more radioactive particles spewing out of Fukushima every single hour and I can't believe this is not talked about on the news your news has let you down ding 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 wake up people cesium measured from American green nuts yes the Marusito measured cesium from pistachio imported from the US 98% of American pistachios is produced in California are you eating pistachios did you have them for Christmas I hope not <laughs> okay here we go again January the 6th, 2013, just to keep you on track here, let you know this has not stopped here. Over 200,000 becquerels per kilogram of radioactive cesium and dust from outside of uh, Fukushima Prefecture. And don't tell me, no, it doesn't affect dust, because I've, I've mentioned it before that when the uh, air samples were taken in Seattle during the same uh, three-month period that they were in, taken in Tokyo, Tokyo had 10 radioactive particles floating around uh, sorry, uh, people were breathing in, on average, uh, 10 radioactive particles, hot particles, per day. And over in Seattle, people were breathing in 5 to 6 radioactive particles per day, if they live a sedentary life. If you live a very active life, they said you're sucking in roughly 10 particles per day, the same levels as the people were in Tokyo were. Hello, folks. At what point do you clue in? <laughs> Arnie. Arnie. You're the, you're the 2011 disappointment to the radiation movement. I've called you out before a long time ago when Arnie got on, interviewed on CNN News and he was first asked, uh, Arnie, this is when this, these air samples that I was just talking about when they were first released, he was asked by, uh, I can't remember who it was, it was on CNN. Arnie, is, is, is six uh, hot radioactive particles landing in the United States something the Americans should be worried about? Well, I'm not, it goes on for a little while. The answer was yes. Yes, they should be worried about. And then he goes on to tell them what? Oh, that's why we've been telling our friends that they should wipe their shoes and take their shoes off at the door and wash their... Shut up, Arnie. Shut up. Enough with the bullshit. Washing your fruit and your vegetables, folks, and taking your shoes off the door will not stop hot radioactive particles from entering your house. Arnie should have been damn truthful with you, and he should have told you. Folks, you need to set up a, a HEPA filter or a UCPA uh, filter, which is a step up from a HEPA, uh, and have a positive airflow in your house. That means uh, there's so much air being blown in, uh, filtered air blown into your house, that when you open up the front door, the air is wants to jump out. That's a positive airflow, just like they have in a, a operating room when people are getting operated no he tells you to wipe your feet off and take your shoes off at the door and wipe your vegetables shut the hell up arnie you're the you're killing americans for christ's sake and he goes on to say mainstream media in the united states hasn't covered but it's a real shut up i better not hear of anyone giving him a donation this guy is a insult to the radiation helen calicott put him in his place so many times and boy if i had one second with him on the internet on skype i'd put him in his place too anyways i'm going to continue on so i'm getting a little upset here because there's a lack of information and when we have somebody like that who's supposed to be up there and representing us and telling you the truth you know if he, he, if he told folks the truth on cnn he would have said yes hot particles are so 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 important that at a nuclear plant that if someone happens to breathe in one hot particle an employee he gets a pink slip they're fired the next day they're fired the next day people in seattle were breathing in five to six hot radioactive particles every single day for what how many days was it two months straight give me a break don't tell them to wash your damn vegetables shut the hell up get off the damn youtube don't even be on rt i don't want to see you on uh, you need to shut up and don't anyone give him any money anyways i don't want to get on him too much because there's a bunch of assholes but he's the biggest asshole of all continuing on here convert world the latest numbers here that they released here from tepco was that there was 10 million becquerels you take becquerels here i'll show you the conversion chart i pulled all this stuff here because i've been working on this for several days it's right here as i said mentioned everything that you see in this video is all linked down below 
to get one back roll, uh, one micro sievert, you need uh, 76.923 back rolls. So basically, I did my conversion here, blah, 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 micro sieverts. It comes up to 130 millisieverts or 130,000 micro sieverts. <sighs> Sorry, folks, but you know, you're, you're feeling here this, this uh, pent up uh, anger that I have, and not specifically Arnie, but yes, uh, I was, I've been ticked off at Arnie because, like I said, you, you have someone on TV who's supposed to be giving you a heads up on stuff and they're not doing their job, not even mainstream. It sucks. Anyways, this dosage chart here shows you that even the EPA yearly release target for a nuclear plant is 30 microsieverts. If you saw that chart I was just showing here, there, it's spewing out 130,000 microsieverts per hour, every single hour, and has been for since probably March 11th, you know. I don't know what to say. At some point, people are going to start caring and say, yeah. We need to wake up here so hopefully uh, like I said I'll leave a link here to everything that you see so you have an idea uh, here 50 millisieverts that's the maximum yearly dose permitted for US radiation working workers uh, if you go down a little bit further you'll be able to see a little more on the on the entire chart and how it's broken down um, I mentioned here before I've opened up a my own website because I'm I gotta have a place to post my own information because I keep getting banned for posting the truth. It's disgusting here. I mentioned how Realist News just banned me. Enough is enough here. I'm gonna start my own website and I'm just gonna load up my own information on it and that way there won't be banned and you folks wanna join up, there it is right there, connectingdots1.com. Take care folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. You cannot filter it out. It is in you. You are listening. Like when the voice inside your head says something, you are listening. It's it's not even a choice because it's it's inside, right? And it's it's kind of trippy <laughs> to, to even think about the it. The bigger you, you are build listening. the bonfire speech, of understanding, you are <laughs> how can it's I kind of put it? Trippy. The bigger you build the bonfire of understanding, the more darkness is revealed to your startled eyes. We cannot evolve beyond the confines of our language. If you have a language that makes telepathy impossible, then telepathy will be impossible. There is no closure. You see, we all pay lip service to the idea that, that language and culture 